college student with a lot of reading attempts in classes that can get very dry, I find it hard to just read for pleasure sometimes. But reading for fun is very important. And today, that's what I'd like to entice you to do. Today, we're going to look at the people's reading habits, how reading can benefit you, how you can try to read more, and what will happen if we don't read. Well, the Pew Research Center did a study, and they found roughly 60% of people read for pleasure about once a week. Like, that is ridiculous. I'm sorry, but come on, 60%? And look at that. They're looking at people 16 to older. If you break that down in other age groups, that's a lot less. Like, for example, we're educated college students. You would think we would read a whole lot more. Thing is, we don't. 40% of college freshmen never read for pleasure. And 35% of college seniors never read for pleasure. I mean, come on, we're supposed to be the intellectuals, the people that know what we're doing and trying to learn more. We should be the people that are reading. Also, contrast that, we tend to watch two and a half hours of TV per day and read for seven minutes a day. I know a lot of people like to say, well, I don't need to read books. I'm online a lot. I read web pages. Well, the thing is, when you're reading those web pages, are you really absorbing that information? Because the Nielsen Group did a study, and they found that people just tend to scan those, and they end up reading about 20% of the words on the page. Also, I found a very interesting slide from Statistic Brain. I know that's a lot of numbers up there, but what I'd really like to point out is the total percent of college students who will never read a book after they graduate. That's 42%. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know how that's possible. So why aren't people reading? Well, USA Today did a poll, and they found out that roughly 51% of people said, well, I just don't have time to read. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not an excuse. How, so how can you find more time to read? Well, here's what I did. I just carry a book with me wherever I go. And whenever I have a few minutes, I just read. Like, for example, here I am at the doctor's office. Or at Chipotle. Seriously, I read in line all the time. <laughs> That's where I get most of it done. Also, at stupid events <laughs> that you do not want to be at. For example, dog Halloween party. Also, advantage. If you read there, do it enough, people will not invite you back. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are the benefits of reading? Well, for one thing, a study found that people that read and do a lot of brain activities are two and a half times less likely to get Alzheimer's. It also improves your memory. Because when you're reading, you're just naturally following and remembering all of these characters' backstories and what's going on with the plot. So that naturally causes your memory to improve. Also, something I find very important for us college students is it improves your writing. When you read, you're exposed to all kinds of different styles and vocabulary that you would not normally be exposed to. And those end up showing through your own work when you read things. Also. Because I love to quote Sherlock. Reading makes you more intelligent, and brainy is the new sexy. What will happen if we don't read? I think Ray Bradbury said it best. He said, You don't have to burn books to destroy a culture, you just have to get people to stop reading. If we stop reading, part of our culture will die. Think about all of these wonderful books from, like Gilgamesh. They gave us so much information about other societies. If we don't read and keep these stories alive, Further generations will not know what it was like for us. Finally, I'm not here to just convince you, well, you must read <laughs> to classics only. I don't have that great of expectations. I'm just here to convince you to pick up a book and read for fun. Go down to your local library. Personally, I know I have about 15 books that I need to read in my room. Just pick up a book. Read anything. Because Google did a study and they found that there are 129,864,880 books in the entire world. Don't let the fact that you're burned out on school stop you from enjoying as many of those as possible.